It is the number one cause of death in many hospitals, but most Americans probably don't even know what it is. Now a local doctor is on a mission to make sure you know the signs and seriousness of sepsis. It's tonight's Taking Action for Your Health Report. Dr. Carl Flatley is prepping for a medical presentation inspired by the loss of his daughter, Erin. She had a routine outpatient surgery, hemorrhoidectomy, on a Thursday, and she was dismissed for the weekend on Friday. We took her back on Sunday, and she died Tuesday from something I'd never heard of. Despite decades in the medical field, Dr. Flatley had never heard of sepsis, a toxic response to infection. Well, I was with her when she died, and uh, she, I just didn't want it to happen to anyone else. So the doctor formed an organization called the Sepsis Alliance and began gathering facts and spreading information. There's 258,000 deaths a year from this, and that doesn't count the people who are disabled, lose their arms and legs, or have organ dysfunctions. Anyone can get sepsis. It can be caused by bacteria, viruses, a fungus, or a parasite. You can get it from a cut on a cuticle, piercing your tongue, a car wreck, any kind of infection. The good news, it can be treated. You have an 80% chance of survival if you get antibiotics and fluid within the first hour it's recognized. The bad news, it kills quickly. If there's one thing the doctor wants you to take away from this story, it's this. Even if you can't explain sepsis, is that you say, I'm concerned about sepsis. Every time you go to the hospital, uh, you have anything done, you tell the doctor you're concerned about sepsis. That cues them to pay attention to what's going on. He thinks a lack of attention to his daughter's symptoms is what led to her death. Still kills me today. So what signs should you look for? Well, Dr. Flatley says, remember this little phrase, you see the bug run home, and then take the first letters, U, for low urine output, C, for confusion, T, for temperature, it could be either high or low, B, for blood pressure, again, either too high or too low, R, for respiration, above 20, and H, for heart rate, above 90. If you'd like to read more, head over to my Facebook fan page, and I'll link you to the doctor's blog and the Sepsis Alliance Facebook page.